let's continue our lesson about uh, PHP. Okay, so a little bit of review. Again, PHP stands for Hypertext, uh, PHP Hypertext Process Free Processor. It is a widely used open source scripting language. Scripts are executed on the server and it is free to download and use. Okay, again, PHP can contain HTML, JavaScript code, and also PHP code. So PHP code are executed on the server and the result is returned to the browser as a plain text. PHP have a default file extension that PHP. So what can PHP do? So it can generate dynamic page content. It can create a open read, write, and close files on the server. PHP can collect uh, form data. PHP can send and receive cookies. It can add delete modified uh, data in your database. It can restrict user to access some pages on your website and it can encrypt data. So why naman use PHP? So it runs on different platforms okay, in Windows, Linux, Unix, Max, OS, and more. So PHP is compatible with almost all server used today. So PHP has support to wide range of database. Okay, PHP is easy to learn and run efficiently on a server side. So however, if your server does not support PHP, you must install the web server, install PHP, install database such as uh, MySQL or SQL. Okay. So this is the basic uh, PHP syntax. So PHP can be placed anywhere in a document. So PHP scripts, script starts with this one, opening script and ends with this one, so our closing script. So these are the example of syntax, so the opening and the closing. So the file extension for PHP again is that PHP. Uh, the PHP scripting block can be placed anywhere in the document. So on server with your hands uh, support enabled, you can start scripting block. Um, sometimes kahit tanggalin, i-omit natin yung PHP question mark lang, yung opening, uh, mag-work din siya. But for maximum compatibility, so we recommend that you use the standard form. So each code in PHP must end with a semicolon. Okay? So we have a semicolon. Unlike uh, HTML so, or JavaScript, JavaScript uh, hindi required yung semicolon sa kanya uh, unless multi-line uh, multi yung gagamitin mong uh, um, uh, command sa kanya. Semicolon is separator. It's used to distinguish uh, one set of instruction from another. So that's a function of semicolon. Next we have here for the comment. Okay, so this sample of comment in PHP. So the comment page is, uh, is line that is not executed as a part of the program, meaning we ignore ng ating interpreter yung text or code inside a uh, comment. So its only purpose is to be read by someone who's looking at the code. So comment can be used to let other understand your code. Okay? So that's the main function of uh, comments. So variable names, uh, variable can have short name like X and Y or more descriptive name like H, car name, or total volume sample. So rules for PHP variables, a variable start with the dollar sign. Okay, so kailangan mong lagay ng dollar sign. It's about variable start. Followed by the name of the variable. Variable name must begin with the letter or underscore character. A variable name can only contain alphanumeric character and underscore. Okay, so uppercase na i alphabet, okay, 0 to 9, and underscore, okay. A variable name should not contain space, okay. So variable names are case sensitive. So lowercase y with upper uppercase are two different variables. 
Um, variables is a symbol or name that stands for a value. Okay? So variables are used for storing such value, such a numeric values, character, character string, or memory address, so that they can be used in any part of the program. So all variables in PHP, again, start with a dollar sign and followed by the name of the variables. This uh, example. So creating PHP variable. So PHP has no command for declaring variables. So a variable is created the moment you first assign a value to it. Okay, so sabi nga, ah, hindi na natin dinideclare kung ano yung data type niya. So the moment na nag-assign ka ng value sa kanya, so nakikreate na natin yung variables. For example, txt or text equals hello world and x equals 5. So after the execution of the statement, the above the variable text will hold the value of hello world and the variable x will hold the value of 5. So when you assign a text value to a variable, put quotes around the value. Okay, so pag text yung na i ibabalo natin, so kailangan natin siyang lagyan ng uh, quote, double quote. PHP is a loosely typed language. So in the example above, notice that we did not have to tell the PHP what data type the variable is. PHP automatically converts the variable to the correct data type depending on its value. So in strongly typed uh, programming language, we have to declare the type and the name of the variable before using it, like in Java. Diba? So pag gumamit tayo ng variable, we need to be, uh, declare first what is the type of that variable. Okay? So in PHP, sabi nga, uh, automatically converts the variable to correct data type. Okay, depending on its value. So the scope of the variable is a part of the script where the variables can be reference used. PHP has a four different variable scope, the local, the global, the static, and the parameter. Okay. First, we have the um, uh, local scope. Variable declare within PHP function is a local and can only be accessed within the function so example, okay, so this is our function, okay, start siya dito. So, pag dito mo siya dineclear inside ng function, so it's a local variable. But outside the function, um, it's global, uh, magiging global yung scope ng variables. So, um, local scope is restricted boundary of a variable within which a code block it is declared. So the block can be function plus or any conditional span. Uh, the variable within this limited to local scope is known as the local variable of the specific block. For example, this block or this function. Okay, so local lang siya dito, yung x natin. But the variables are declared within the function are called local variables. Okay. So the variables declared outside the function with the same name is completely different from the variable declared inside the function. So this one, x equals 5, is completely different with this one. Okay. So next we have the global scope. So a variable that is defined outside of any function has a global scope. Um, Global variables can be accessed from any part of the script except from within the function. To access a global variable within a function or use the global keyword. So the global variable are the variables that are declared outside the function. So the x and y here, dineclear natin siya outside the function my test. So this is uh, ano sila, global uh, scope ng variables nila. So these variables can access anywhere in the program. To access a global variable within a function, use the global keyword before the variable. However, these variables can be directly accessed or used outside the function without any keyword. 
Therefore, there's no need to use keyword to access global variable outside the function. Okay? For example, sabi kanina, kailangan mo gumamit ng global variable within a function or keyword uh, bago mo magamit yung variable inside a function. So this one, gumamit tayo ng global keyword. Next, we have the static scope. So when a function is completed, all its variables are normally deleted. However, sometimes you want a local variable not to be deleted. To do this, use the static keyword when you first declare the variable. So like in our example. Okay, so this is static keyword. Okay. So this feature of PHP, um, feature of PHP to delete the variables when it completes its execution and memory split. Sometimes we need to store variable even after completion of function execution. So therefore, another important feature of variable um, scoping is the static variable. So we use the static keyword. Okay, so the static keyword. Um, before the variable to define the variable and this variable is called a static variable. So static variable exists only in a local function, but does not free its memory after the program execution leaves the scope. Okay? So, nag-work lang siya under a function. Next, we have the parameters. Okay, parameter scope. Okay, a parameter, as parameter is a local variable whose value is passed to the function by calling code. Parameter are declared in a parameter. This is a part of the function declaration. Okay. So parameter variable is an is a, a variable local to the function which receives the argument. So that is to say that the argument value is copied into the parameter variable. Where do you define the parameters by inside the parentheses of the function header? Okay. So, ito yung, ito yung function header natin. So, dyan natin dinidefine yung parameter uh, variables natin. So, next, uh, okay. So, PHP print and echo statement. So, in PHP, there are two basic ways to get output, which is uh, echo and print. There are some difference between echo and print. So, echo can output one or more string, and print can only output string and returns always one. So echo is marginally faster compared to print as echo does not return any value. So example, okay, so using echo, okay, this will print on your screen. So echo and print are more or less the same. They are both used to output data to the screen. So the difference are small. So echo has to no return value while print has a return value of 1. So it can be used in expression. So echo can take multiple parameters, although such usage is rare. Um, while print can take one argument. So that's the difference between the two. Next we have an array. An array stores multiple value in one single variable. Okay? Uh, kanina yung variables natin, kaya niya na mag- uh, store no one value but array sabi nga can store multiple value in a way one single variable for example here cars plus array so go hold siya ng value ng Volvo BMW and Toyota okay so an array is a data uh, structure that can store uh, one or more similar type of values in a single value for example if you want to store 100 numbers then instead of defining 100 variables, it's easy to define an array of length. Uh, an array is a special variable okay, which can hold more than one value at a time. Okay, so sound one. In PHP, the array function is used to create an array. So example, so this is the array function. Okay, uh, there are three types of array. We have index array. Uh, a shaped array and we have the multi-dimensional array. First we have the index array. 
So there are two ways to create index array. The index array can be assigned automatically. Index always starts zero. Okay, so this uh, automatically um, index array. So ito, pag nag car equals array, ball will be on W. So automatic yan. Mag-index siya starting sa zero. The index can be assigned manually. So this one, if we manually assign the index to our value. So ball was zero, one is BMW and two is Toyota. Next we have the associative array. Associative array is arrays that use name keys that you assign to them. There are two ways to create associative array. Sample age, then equals and greater than 35. Uh, yes, 35. Then Ben equals and greater than 37. And Joyce equals and greater than 43. So automatically, uh, hindi na automatically. So there, uh, sabi nga, uh, in-assign natin yung value niya. Then we have this one. Pwede rin natin siyang i-assign. This way, age. Okay, yung bar Peter equals 35. Ben equals 37 and Joe equals 43. So, associative array, example. Okay, so, pag in natin siya, Peter is age, then nilagay natin si Peter, then i-display niya yung age na 35, which is yung value na hinuwag ni Peter. Okay. So, associative array is used to store key value pairs. So, like in our example, okay, meron lang tayong 10 minutes na pag na-disconnect, uh, reconnect ulit lang tayo. For example, to store the age of different person, okay, in an array, in yung uh, numerically index array would not be the best choice. So, instead, we could use this respective subject names as the key in our associative arrays, and the value would be their respective marks again. Okay, or respecting age. Next, we have the multidimensional array. So an array can also contain another array as a value, which in turn can hold other array as well. In such a way, we can create two or three-dimensional array. Example, two-dimensional array, so cars, array, Volvo. Okay, so the dimension, BMW, Toyota. Hmm. In multidimensional array, such type of array which store the another array of each index instead of single elements. So in other words, define multidimensional array, arrays of arrays. As the name suggests, every element in this array can be array and then can also hold another array, another sub-array. So within arrays or sub-arrays, multidimensional arrays can be accessed using multidimension. So when we say dimension of multidimensional array, it indicates the number of indices needed to select an element. So for a two-dimensional array, two indices to select an element. So like in our example, so this is the index element, so 196. So um, two-dimensional array is the simplest form of uh, multidimensional array. It can be created using nested array. So this type of array can be used to store any type of elements, but the index is always a number. Okay. So this is how we create an array. So this one for each loop. Okay. So for each loop works only on array. And it's used to loop through each key value pair in an array. So this is the syntax. For each, then array, then value then code to be executed. So for every loop iteration, the value of the current array element is assigned to a variable or to a value. An array pointer is moved by one. So the next loop iteration, you'd be looking at the next array value. Mm, for loop is mainly used again for looping through the values array. So it loops over the array and each value per current array element is assigned to a variable and our pointers advance by want to go to the next array. Okay. So this is the example of um, using for each loop in 
uh, array. Next is the PHP function. PHP user defined function. So beside uh, the built-in PHP function, we can create our own function. Function is a block of statement that can be used repeatedly in a program. Function will not execute immediately when its page is loaded. The function will be executed by a call to the function. Uh, create a user-defined function in PHP. So a user-defined function declaration start with the word function syntax. Okay, function. The function name. Then the argument and the code to be executed. So function name can start with the letter underscore. Mm, PHP function are similar to other programming language. Okay. A function is a piece of code which state one more input in the form of parameters and does some up processing and return a value. We already have seen, uh, I'm sure you've already seen many uh, sample of function, okay, like open or fread. So they are built in function, okay. But in PHP, you can give, uh, it will give you an option to create your own function as well. So we have the here the get versus post method. Okay. So let's see what is the get variable. So the predefined get variables is to uh, used to collect uh, values from a form within method get. Information uh, sent from form will get methods visible for everyone. It will display in the browser address bar as a limit amount of information sent. For example, this um this is a sample of a form. Okay, so this one is the PHP file. Then method, get name, text, name, at name, name, age, and submit type. So a get method um, send the encoded user information appended to the page request. Then the page and encoded information are separated. Okay, so uh, the get uh, variable uh, is a global which used to collect from data after submitting HTML form with method get. So this one. Okay, this is the method get. Okay, so uh, it can also collect data sent in the URL. So when a user click on the link uh, test get, the parameter subject and the web are sent to uh, test get. So get method produce a long string that appears in your server logs in the browser or location box. So the get method is restricted to set up to 1024 characters only. So never use the get method if you have password or other sensitive information to be sent in uh, to be sent to the server. So get can be used to send binary data like images or word documents to the server. Uh, the data sent by get method can be accessed using query string environment variables. Okay, next we have the, um, yeah. okay. the post variable. Okay, so the predefined post variable is used to collect values from form sent with method post. Information sent from form with the post method is invisible to other and has no limits on the amount of information to send. However, there is an 8 MB max size for the post method by default. Can be changed setting post size in the PHP file. So the post is a PHP super global variable, which is used to collect form data after submitting an HTML form with the method post. Post is also widely used to pass variables. Mm. Uh, okay. Post can also transfer information via header. So the information is coded as described in case of get method and put into the header code called query string. So post method does not have any restriction on data size to be sent. And post method can be used to send ASCII code as well as binary data. So the data by post methods goes through HTTP header to security depends on HTTP protocols by using secure HTTP. So you can make sure that your information is secured. So the PHP provide um, post HTTP array to access all the set information using the post method. Okay, so that's it for today.